And then so we're airborne out of Toronto, heading across the country to Vancouver. On it's a magical mystery tour. Welcome to Pearson International Airport here in Toronto, Canada. And is this not just the best view that you could ever expect to get from a hotel room? It's amazing, isn't it? Anyway, today we're leaving Toronto behind and taking a ride on an airline that is, according to the completely unbiased and impartial travel oracle that is TripAdvisor, the worst rated airline in the whole of Canada. The worst customer service, avoid. Cancelled flights without prior notification, terrible, never again. They're awful. That's just the first handful of over 1,300 reviews of Flair Airlines. They are an ultra low cost airline here in Canada. So far the only um, ultra low cost airline here in Canada. And today, well, I want to find out if they're as bad as TripAdvisor suggests. So what did I do? Well, I've booked a five hour transcontinental flight with them from here in Toronto across to the other side of the country in Vancouver. So without further ado, it's time to head to Pearson Airport to get on board Canada's worst rated airline. Were the reviews accurate? Well, there's only one way to find out. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Well, that was all very easy. Checked in, dropped my bag, got my boarding pass. Now time to head through to the gate. Um, so Flair do charge you, being a low cost airline, they do charge you for the bags. I put all the costs at the end of the video so you can see how much they charge me to drop my bag off there. Um, but now we're going to head through security and head to the gate. Now it's just incredible the rate at which Flair Airlines are growing at the moment. Just a few months ago they only had a fleet of three 737-800s, but in three months they've taken delivery of eight 737 MAX 8 aircraft and they've still got more to come. The last time I saw an airline growing quite this aggressively was probably Ryanair back in the late 90s and early 2000s and well we all know how that turned out. So then here's my ride over to Vancouver today, 737 MAX 8 of which at the moment, like I say, Flair have got eight of them in their fleet. They've got a load more still on the way. So at um, the minute, they've only got a few of these. I'm not gonna give it too long though when they're probably gonna have a whole lot more. Hey, good morning or afternoon. Thank you so much, have a good afternoon. We're heading down to board the Flair Max 8. Hi, that's all right. No, no worries We're just all. having our morning discussion. Nah, it's fine, no worries, thank you. Right then on board the Flair 737 MAX 8 and I think I remember booking like an extra legroom seat here at the front which is actually, I can't imagine it's like this all the way back through the plane. Um, I didn't think I had, I just booked a seat for the engine but hey, I'll let you know. Uh, when I managed to land and actually figure out how much I've paid for all of this, um, I'll be able to let you know about the whether I booked an extra legroom seat after all, I didn't realise I had, but it's very comfy. Very comfy indeed. Plenty of leg room. Uh, in fact, if you look at the other leg room on the other side, you can see that these seats do seem to have a little bit more, which is quite nice. Very comfy indeed. So I can spread out a little bit for this five hour run over to Vancouver and um, out the window, of course. Look at that Max 8 engine and wing. Beautiful. Um, so they're getting everybody on board and then we'll be on our way. King is banned on board all Canadian commercial aircraft. This includes e-cigarettes and vaporizers. If you have any questions, go down the path and adjust it at your hanche. Take note of the fact that the exit is the closest to you. And the mask should be presented to you. You click on the signal. Attach your seat.
Our route today then took us west from Toronto to Vancouver following the US border the entire way. Flight time today was 4 hours and 43 minutes, cruising at 34 and 36,000 feet. Alright then, so airborne out of Toronto, heading across the country to Vancouver on the Flare Max 8. And it's still relatively comfy, quite handily. I've got nobody in the middle seat at the side of me, so I've got plenty of room to stretch out on this flight um, for the five hours it's going to take us to get from one side of the country to the other. I just love the um, Boeing Sky interior that they put on these things on the new 737s. It is pretty cool indeed. Um, and it's a very comfortable aircraft to ride on the Max 8. I wasn't sure quite what it would be like. Heard about the cramped seating conditions and things on here. But to be fair, I mean, I know I'm in an extra legroom seat here. But if you look across the aisle there, um, those, those are standard seats with less legroom. And it seems pretty decent even over there. So, um, yeah, quite good so far. Um, see how I feel in another few hours. So then the Flare 737 seat, let's have a look at what we get here. It's a little bit basic, no frills really, we get a tray table. It goes up and down in that sort of manner. Um, we get seat pocket with a safety card in it. And well, that's it really, pretty much. Um, it's relatively comfortable. I do like the fact it's this cloth rather than the leather seats because it tends to be a little bit softer and a bit more comfortable. Um, certainly more comfortable than a lot of European sort of low-cost carriers on um, some of the routes over there as well. So it's quite nice. But again, we'll see how we feel when we get off later. All right, so they've just decided to announce that because of COVID, there's going to be no food and drink available for buy on board this flight. Um, it's a five hour flight. It kind of would have been nice to know that before we got on board, so we could have gone and bought something. Fortunately, I have got a little bit of water to get me through the flight, but I'm going to be a bit hungry, I think, by the time we arrive into Vancouver. Um, I was kind of hoping just to get at least a bag of crisps or something on board the flight to keep me going, but um, no. So, yeah, it would have been nice if they'd have told us before the flight, maybe. Um, but, hey-ho, here we are. Now, one thing that is quite nice um, about the... Flare 737 MAX 8, compared to a lot of low-cost carriers, you can recline the seat, see if we can do it without annoying the person behind me. It goes back a little bit, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, um, slightly more reclined <laughs> than it was originally. <laughs> I mean, it's not a flatbed, that's for sure. But what do you expect on a five-hour low-cost flight across Canada? I'll try getting on the Wi-Fi, by the way. They have this um, Wi-Fi system that you can use, um, apparently, and get all loads of in-flight entertainment and stuff on it, but it, it, it it's not working. So um, there's my in-flight entertainment. Looking out the window, enjoying the view. I've admittedly just water at the minute. Um, I don't know where we are actually. Again, there's no flight maps or anything on <laughs> board, but hey ho, hey ho. It's a magical mystery tour where we know where we're going from and to, but we don't know how we're getting there. Um, yeah, there we go. It's time for the No Phillips Blue Review. Alrighty, so bathroom on the Flare Airlines Max 8. Let's have a look. It's a little tight. We have a sink. We have a toilet. 
we have a knot of garbage. There we go. We have a very tight bathroom. Very tight, I can't even open my elbows, but there we go. You want to see what the Max 8 flare, Max 8 bathroom looks like? Well, there we go. Now I'll just need a minute or two, please. Thank you. That was the Noel Phillips Blue Review. Right, so on our way down into Vancouver, um, we're now four and a half hours into the five hour flight and I have to say I'm not entirely sure what people are complaining about with flair. They're, um, the seats are relatively comfortable, the plane's on time, you know we took off on time, we're going to be landing early a little bit. Um, the crew have been really friendly and yeah we've not had the entertainment working and yeah we've not had any buy on board service which that particularly we can't really blame the airline for it's just the whole kind of situation that a lot of airlines are working at the minute flair seemed pretty decent to me to be honest um and for the amount of money that you pay well i'm quite happy with this and that's the thing i mean you could pay a lot more money for this flight you could pay for an airline with entertainment, meals, frequent flyer miles or lounge access. You could even pay extra for a fancy business class seat. But ultimately for a daytime flight a few hours long, most people just need a seat on a plane that gets them there on time. And that seems like something that Flair do pretty well. Sure, Flair are low frills compared to Air Canada for instance, but they're at least pretty reliable. So here's the important bit. My flight today cost me just 148 pounds or around about 200 US dollars, working out at an incredible seven pence per mile, which personally I think is excellent value for money. Flair may be cheap and they may be very low frills, but there's no doubt that in Canada, a country with notoriously expensive airfares, Flair represent a welcome change to lower fares. They were on time, relatively comfortable and the crew were all pretty decent too. And when you're only paying £150 for a 5 hour flight, well that's pretty much all you can expect. Just remember you pack lunch. As always I'd like to say a big thanks to my Patreons. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, live weekly Zoom calls with me and much more. Hi there, how are you doing? Good. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Well Cheers, have a good one. Bye bye. Uh, I'm, I'm alright, thank you. I can manage it. Thank you. Oh, oh thank you. I think you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. He shouted at me for doing it to the airport. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. These days you don't know what it is. I know, I know. Hey, good afternoon. I'm good. How are you? Borders, so it's like. Have you can visit. ever stayed in the Fairmont by the airport? There's another fairmont by the No, airport. my friend, I've literally just come off the phone with my friend and he's like, you need to stay at that one, then you can yes. see all the planes. And I was it's like, yeah. Yeah. Are actually facing the runway. Yes, yeah. And it's actually pretty cool. Like they named their rooms after those. Of the aircraft, aircraft. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. That's why I built this room because I was like, I can see the harbour, I can see the that's seaplanes true. coming that's in. Not so. Not yeah. true. You can still your, <laughs> your airplanes there. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, well, welcome to Vancouver. Oh my goodness, look at this view. I can see planes, seaplanes. 
maybe a slight hint of what's coming in the next sort of few videos. Um, so welcome to this beautiful hotel on the seafront in Vancouver. What an amazing city Vancouver is. I've never actually been to Vancouver before. Um, and I have to say so far, based on what I've seen on the way in here and on the flight path into the airport and then driving in, it's probably my favorite place in Canada yet. It's absolutely glorious, gorgeous, gorgeous city. Um, and yeah, here we are for a few days. Um, Flair Airlines then, well, they weren't too bad actually. I don't know how they get their reputation as the worst airline in Canada because actually, I thought they were pretty all right. You know, compared to ultra low cost carriers in other parts of the world, and I'm looking at you guys like Wizz Air and Ryanair and stuff. I mean, you can't go wrong with Flair. They were perfectly fine. The seats were comfy, the crew were lovely, the plane was on time, it was clean, it was well, mostly clean. Um, it was a brand new aeroplane. I don't even know why these negative reviews are there because I didn't have any issues at all with them and I wouldn't hesitate to fly with them again. But let me know what you thought to Flair down in the comments. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go and get some rest. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.